Well, hello, my soul friends. How are you doing? Um, I'm here to talk about the full moon in Capricorn, but mostly I just want to come on here and offer a space for you to be with you, to be with all that's stirring in your mind, your body, your soul. And hopefully something I have to offer today will meet you right where you are, help you nurture your soul potential, take a deep breath, release what no longer serves, and anchor in to what is going to support you. That is my great wish. Um, I'm gonna talk about the full moon in Capricorn, but mostly this channel, the Soul Nurture channel on YouTube, is all about transformational awareness, sacred awareness for the journey of a soul having a human experience. And we can get so pulled into the human experience and become frazzled and fearful and challenged and lose sight of the higher vision, the higher unfolding, the sacred view, I call it. So I hope you can spend a few minutes with me. Actually, it's going to be more than a few minutes. There's a lot going on with this full moon and there's a lot going on in the world and, and the astrological weather. I know you feel it. I'd love to know what you're noticing, what you're feeling, what you're, what's stirring in your soul, what's what your body is communicating to you. So this is my intuitive take on, you know, I, I follow the lunation cycles, new moon, full moon, as a way to just kind of chart our progress and our, you know, as checkpoints. How are we doing? What is needed? I believe that um, astrology is a gift from creator to help us navigate this human experience and to remind us there's a higher unfolding happening. It's hard to see with our human experience, with our human eyes, so we must move into faith. We must move into a deeper connection to our soul wisdom. Okay, so thanks for being with me. Thank you for my regular viewers and your comments and your emails and all of that staying connected to me. I know I've been a little sporadic with my videos. I, I like you. I love you. I like you. I love you. <laughs> have a lot going on. So much. Don't we all? Right? We're all, you know, the heat's turned up in our earth school. And um, especially with this full moon in Capricorn. The second full moon in Capricorn. We had the first full moon in Capricorn on um, June 21st, the day after we entered cancer season. And, you know, a season of self-reflection and nurturing but sandwiched in between these two full moons in Capricorn. The second one here happening on July 21st is, um, you know, it's a culminating for sure. Full moons are culminating, but this second full moon is happening at 29 degrees of Capricorn. That is what it's called in astrology, an anoretic degree. It's a very significant, meaningful degree. It's a degree that says, what have you been learning? What have you been growing through? You know, apply the lessons. I like to say lessons learned is wisdom earned. And we've all been being pulled through one lesson after another, being seeing our patterns revealed, seeing what's not working revealed, seeing the reflections of the external world reflecting our inner worlds. The microcosm, our inner worlds, reflected in the macrocosm, the external worlds. And I want to talk about that probably at great length today because... Ooh, you know, right now as I'm recording this, there's a lot going on uh, in, in the world and mostly in the United States. And, um, you know, so I did a lot of meditation and reflection on what was going on with me because I know that what's going on with me is going on with someone out there. And this is why I do these videos. A reminder that we're all in this together. And in this case, in this particular heightened, you know, intense transformational time, times we are in, you know, this thought kept coming to me as I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about. And it may sound silly, but this is what came, and this is not new to me. That came to me a long time ago when I recognized us, our humanity, struggling to remember this, that we're, all, you know, the old saying, we're all in this together. Well, what came to me was we're all swimming in the same pool together, the same water, right? The same pool. And so no peeing in the pool. And so that's a big part of this Capricorn full moon. 
the, the phrase that came is, are you contributing or are you contaminating? So full moons in general illuminate everything. It's like turning on a light in a room you haven't been in for a while. You see all your stuff. You see all the stuff amplified in the world with the sun, if, you know, the sun's light reflected off of the moon. A full moon is when the sun and the moon are in opposition, 180 degrees apart. In this case, we have the sun in 29 degrees of Cancer, another right anoretic degree, and the moon in 29 degrees of Capricorn. We also have Neptune in 29 degrees of Capricorn. Again, 29 degrees, if you have that in your natal chart, it's something, a lesson you've just been needing to work on and have move out, move into completion with. And with the transits, it's, just, it's what we're collectively. Transits are our collective, collective homework assignments, if you will, our own work, the own work we need to do to achieve higher possibilities together, individually and collectively, right? So where is 29 degrees of Capricorn in your natal chart? That is the area of your personal life that's gonna be illuminated a call for greater responsibility, taking that area of your life more serious. Um, and, you know, and, and collectively for us, Capricorn is connected to our, our position in the public, our careers. It's a, a call to, well, here's the phrase that came to me again. Again, what I do is I look at the chart and I feel into it and I get images and like, what does this mean? And I kind of get, and decode it and then I try to translate it for you and hopefully what I'm saying will touch you right where you are or support you and encourage you and maybe you'll think oh I'm just not making this up it's something that really is happening so just from my heart to yours so this full moon axis this is the axis of Cancer Capricorn Sun and Cancer um, Moon and Capricorn and 29 degrees tells you we're moving towards the end of Cancer season moving towards Leo season and everything you know in astrology if you follow it long enough you see this unfolding story and all the planets and whatever signs they're in are the players the that are, are offering us something showing us something and we all need to engage in our own healing our own transformation to contribute something back to our collective unfolding so this full moon axis, if you go back, you could go back and watch my, um, well, even the new moon in Cancer, the full, the first full moon in Capricorn. And this time I've been talking about taking personal responsibility, uh, really focus on self-nurturing, self-care. And because now we're in the full second full moon of Capricorn, it's really like the lesson, the Capricorn lesson needs to be learned. Um, to bring awareness to our own lives and what we contribute to the unfolding of the collective. So this full moon axis, you know, it's full moons are about finding the balance or integrating, you know, like it's opposition. So we can feel like sometimes we're nurturing ourselves. Sometimes we're being too hard on ourselves. Um, sometimes we're really um, frustrated and pushing ourselves really, really hard. And sometimes we're just needing to restore. So that's you know moon in capricorn sun and cancer and again the moon a full moon brings draws out we can be very emotional especially with this full moon because it's conjunct pluto this is an intense one i'm not gonna lie you know again moving into this full moon where we had mars conjunct uranus there's a lot of intensity a lot of like you know again all purposeful i don't it's not to alarm it's like Remember, we're in a rebirthing. We're in huge transformational times where we're seeing, especially with this moon in Capricorn, what isn't working. And this is what I talked about on the first uh, full moon in Capricorn. What's not working in your life, what's not working in the world. But we must, with this one, take personal responsibility. The theme, I feel like, for this full moon is emotional mastery. And I'm going to out myself or be transparent about something because I... I do these videos for you, but I do them as a reminder to, to keep myself on an authentic path of 
taking my own advice, practicing what I preach, practicing what I post, taking the teachings that come through me for me, for all of us. So I will be sharing a personal story about where um, I put myself on check. And I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Uh, but really, I do want to know where you're viewing from, how you're feeling, what you're noticing, what's happening in your life. Here's my main thing I want to offer you. It's really, really a time to stay in your faith and in your trust. And I'm going to talk about that too, to shift out of the fear, the human experience to the higher sacred view of curiosity and compassion. How is this happening for all of us? It's hard to see sometimes, isn't it? So, okay. So yes, this could be a very emotional full moon. Full moons again, draw forward what needs to be illuminated what's in the way of our way uh, revealing what needs to be healed with this full moon conjuncting Pluto um, it could be drudging up a lot of undi undigested grief um, emotional pain uh, shadow material I think that's what we're seeing in our collective the, the shadow this has been going on for a while especially oh and this is reminiscent of Pluto and Capricorn you know from what was it, 2008 to, um, gosh, I don't, when did Pluto go into Aquarius? Man, I should know this. I'm not good at the factual stuff, but all of the stuff we went through during the pandemic with the, with the mashup with all that energy in Capricorn, like the taskmaster putting us on, um, on notice, get it together, people, get it together. And also the demolishing the you know this pluto energy is like deconstruct to reconstruct we saw a lot of that we saw a lot of what wasn't working in ourselves in our world in our country and all over the world and we're still kind of in that and i think this full moon is a callback to that like what got stirred up for you during uh you know all of the pluto jupiter saturn and capricorn uh and since it's in the 29th degree where are you still resisting learning the lessons or applying the wisdom you gathered doing something different moon and capricorn is all about checking your structures creating boundaries um, setting up systems that support you taking personal responsibility applying the lessons and um you know relentlessly moving towards the direction of the goals you know don't don't forget the mission stay connected to the mission so okay let's see I want to peek at my notes real quick because you know I've been talking a lot about self-care self-nurturing during this time of the Sun in cancer so how have you been doing with that see how it works like we're, we're given this time of inner reflection you know nurturing ourselves replenishing ourselves and then we get another wave in of intensity to ride the waves to that ultimate new metaphoric shore of higher possibilities for all of us so how is your energy how you know I know it's hard to discern sometimes like when to push more Capricorn moon you know if you're a Capricorn or if you have a moon in Capricorn or like me have a Capricorn rising we have a struggle with when our when is like sometimes we feel like it's never enough and so when we collectively are in the the feeling of a moon in Capricorn you may be feeling like you haven't done enough you should be doing more that should word comes out you know should 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 and this is you know let this full moon illuminate where you have done enough and mostly where you are enough okay and mostly you know you just have to stay really if you're unclear stay near to your closest ally that does have the guidance for you and that is your body your obviously your body is your your most beloved companion for this journey and if you feel like you know do I need to rest or do I need to push ask your body your body's gonna tell you I need a nap <laughs> or no how does it feel when I think about doing this how does what's going on listen to your body okay so I touched on um, Pluto conjunct the full moon again shadow work dredging up darkness that needs to be brought to the light that needs to be integrated it's the death and rebirth of something you know what what patterns need to die out in your life 
um, you know, the death of, and, and don't hear this as, oh my God, a fear, but the end, we can just say the end, the end of things that are not serving you nor others. You know, I think, you know, we're in huge um, transformational times with the United States government. You know, like I, my curiosity is, um, is this the death of democracy or what are, we're witnessing something that's hard to watch, but also we must trust just like messy birth Things get messy before they get sorted out, before something new is birthed in. So I think that this um, full moon is again taking personal responsibility for your life, shifting, healing your victimness, like where you feel like a victim, like if only and why didn't I and all that to, I've got myself, I've got, I'm capable of navigating my life, I'm capable of doing the healing work that's necessary so that I can be in my full agency, my full possibilities, and that I'm contributing and I'm inviting others to do the same. Enough with, I think we've seen politically and maybe in yourself, like remember everything in the external, this is where we get triggered by some of the politicians. I get triggered by one in particular. I'm gonna talk more about that in, in a moment. Um, and I just, this is where we do shadow work. Where am I being a bully to myself? What the things that trigger me about that person, where am I that way in myself or with others? And this second full moon in Capricorn is like, I'm not letting you off the hook this time. You do the work now, do your inner work now, course correct now, take personal responsibility now, stop shaming, stop blaming, stop pointing the finger at other people and, 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 and being angry at what's happening and say, okay, what can I do with, with this life that I've been given, with this poss these possibilities I've been given, with this potential I've been given? And it's a time to illuminate too where you're too much in this world and your wounds and not enough in your gifting, right? We've had a lot of aspects leading into this full moon with Chiron and so, you know, Chiron is in Aries. So that's about where are we wounded in our personal identity that's limited us and that we've held back and, and stayed stuck because we feel wounded rather than rising with our gifts of healing for ourselves and for others. Is this speaking to anybody? If so, please do comment and let me know. Um, I really took some time sitting in meditation for this full moon because it feels so, so, so significant. So again, I want you to consider, you know, full moons um, illuminate everything, right? What we need to see, what we need to acknowledge, what we need to heal, what we need to feel, the tears will roll. Let your, let your tears come, they're cleansing. And also a time to course correct. So think about, you know, again, we, we go back to the intentions we set with the new moon. We, we can go back six months ago to the new moon in Capricorn what intentions did you set around January that were about, um, you know, maybe they were your, your resolutions. I'm all about intentions, not resolutions, but you know, to each his own, whatever speaks to you, but it's a good time to just check in. How am I doing? Where am I off course? What do I need to do? What did I say matters to me? Where am I not allowing what matters to me to matter? <laughs> this is important to take that serious, responsible look and to take like, I got me, I've got this, I've got my, I, I, I can do this. I want to empower you to know that you can do this. We can do, there's a, I, there's a podcast and I can't remember what it is, I watched it once or twice and somebody that was really popular a while back, I think she still is, I just don't watch a lot of podcasts right now because I've got my own stuff coming through every day. Um, but we can do hard things, is that, who is that? Somebody, if you know, put it in the comments. She's an amazing speaker, an amazing author, although I didn't read her book, I've heard. Um, but anyway, she has a podcast called We Can Do Hard Things. This is Moon and Capricorn. We can do hard things, but a little bit to, to hold on to the Cancerian energy of with love and compassion and nurturing, okay? So here are a few things that came to me regarding this full moon. Um, you, my friend, are the CEO of your life. You're not in a temporary position. This is your life. You're co-creating with creator. You get to navigate. 
And with this, if you go back and watch the last full moon video I did, I'll just recap. You know, it's about becoming your own mother, your own father, saying, I, I'll take it from here. I'm not going to blame or be angry at my parents anymore. They did the best they could. But this is my life, right? I'm talking to you. This is your life. What do you want to do? As Mary Oliver said in her beautiful poem, what will you do with your one precious life? You take the reins. You're the CEO. I want to make an acronym out of that. I'm just thinking of this right now. So let's see. CEO. Completely empowering opportunities. Woo! I love it. <laughs> Being a CEO, completely empower your opportunities. Don't be the temp. Like you just kind of clocking in and checking home. Oh, okay, I've done enough. I'm, I'm checking out. What you do, <laughs> what, what you're called to do, the goals, the tasks, the, the shifting out of old patterns, structuring a, a life that feeds your soul, that nurtures your body, that empowers you, gives you energy, um, take being accountable for having a plan of care, all of this for you so you can be your best self. So the more you practice this structured self-care, the more available you are to others and the more you have to contribute. That's the main thing that keeps coming. Contribute, not contaminate. If you're in contaminating, meaning you're being like, okay, is this the time? I guess I will. <laughs> to be out myself and where I was contaminating the pool we're swimming in. This is really embarrassing for me because I'm a spiritual teacher and I've been doing this work a long time. And uh, one of the political candidates running for president, I talked about this on the, I don't, I don't want to say the name. Maybe you can figure it out or maybe you can think it's one or the other. I'll just try to be as neutral as possible. But one in particular has triggered me quite a bit. Um, I, I've struggled because I've studied human behavior my entire life. I'm an intuitive. I feel people more than, you know, I hear their words, but I feel the words. I feel underneath that. I feel intention, I believe, anyway. Um, and so one of the candidates is, has been very alarming for me, triggering for me. And I've been stuck there. And I really acknowledged this weekend, that's contamination, Victoria. Your thoughts are not contributing something higher. You're peeing in the pool with my thoughts. And that was hard to look at, but it's being real, real because I'm inviting you to the same space. You know, I, I will, now when I really, you're going to know who I'm talking about now, but I, I just got to say, I really loved what Michelle Obama said, you know, when they go low, we go higher, we go higher to sacred view, to trust, to faith, to compassion, to kindness. And I think both parties are not doing that right now. It's just be, become a, <laughs> forgive me. I'm, I have this whole metaphor of pissing in the pool, but it's been a pissing match and it's not helping. It's not contributing. So to change the experience in the collective, we go to the internal world. Where are you contaminating with your thoughts, your own world or the world we share? Are you, are you fighting instead of looking to empower? Are you building stories up? There's a lot with Neptune going on too. And also Neptune is also in an anoretic degree of 29 degrees of Pisces. Um, to be done with the illusion, to be done with the false narratives and stories and to grab in and embrace as much compassion for yourself, for your life, for your loved ones and for the world we share and everyone. So for me, like, okay, what is the difference between contaminating and contributing? What could be more contributing instead of thinking negative thoughts about somebody? Well, Contributing looks like praying for that person. Doing shadow work. Again, as I mentioned earlier, what are the things that I'm triggered by? Where is that in me that I need to integrate and to put some light on? I need to embrace so it can be transformed, transmuted. And so praying for both candidates, praying for the highest good for all. Praying when I see a post from somebody that's celebrating what seems negative to me, what seems vile to me sending a prayer. 
staying out of judgment, staying out of like, I know better than anyone else, staying out of um, my way, my will. Surrender is a go-to right now for all of us. I surrender God for the highest good for all. In fact, yesterday my prayer was, God, please, release me and this is you know this is me you, you can use this as a full moon prayer release me from anything that's keeping me stuck in a place that is limited that is not allowing me to be in my higher self release me from the judgment of what's happening release me from the uh anger release me from all that's holding me from being in a clear space, as a clear channel, sharing uh, healing possibilities. So maybe you can do that, maybe you can write that out. Out yourself too, as I am too. I gotta acknowledge that I have been judging, shaming, being angry, uh, being triggered, all of that, release it. Ask Creator to take it from you. Um, shred it, stomp on it, get it out, move your body, shake it out. Okay. Contributing. <laughs> All right. So again, along the lines of this um, ending towards the ending of cancer season, we're wanting to make sure you learn the lessons of nurturing too. It's very easy to teeter totter. We're either doing self care or we're not. We're pushing or we're replenishing. No. Checking with your body honoring your own needs to fulfill your unique possibilities. Um, so how have you been doing with taking responsibility for your life, for your body, for your possibilities? Have your boundaries become blurred? This is really important. Capricorn is all about boundaries, structures. Boundaries are, I have a couple of metaphors for boundaries. Boundaries are like, you just, and I think I shared this in one of my previous videos, um, like you've just tilled the soil, you've planted the seeds in your garden of possibilities and you didn't put a fence up. So people are trampling through your garden um, or maybe the things are growing and blossoming and the deer are getting in and eating your potential. So boundaries are, are the things to protect what you're growing. This is why we set boundaries with people. It's not like I don't wanna be around you but I have to protect what I'm trying to grow so that it's stronger and I'm more capable to be around you without feeling vulnerable or, or what I'm trying to create or grow is threatened. This is what boundaries are, friend. This is, yeah, this is my take on boundaries anyway, friend, like one person's watching. I hope more than one people are watching. Oh, I meant to say this at the beginning and I'm going back and forth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and announce this. If, you come the, if you've come this far with me, 28 minutes in, I, I was gonna wait till next month, but I, I think I'm gonna start once a month doing some kind of giveaway. And so if you've come this far with me, 28 minutes in, uh, I invite you to comment as much as you want under this video or go to any of my other videos and comment, watch an old video, comment. For every comment, I'll put your name in a raffle. I'm gonna pull one name to give away a session. This session can be a soul guidance session. It could be a soul chart review. It could be a hybrid. I would love to look at a chart to help you reclaim your soul potential, to help you navigate your unique challenges to fulfill the, the soul potential within you. So I'm wondering how many people have watched this far in. I should have announced it at the beginning. Maybe I'll put it in the very front so people uh, know to watch and can participate in this giveaway. And I will um, comment under one of your comments if you are the winner. And I'll do that the day after the full moon on July 22nd. Okay. All right. I should have done that at the beginning. Oh, there's a should. Okay. I want you to count your shoulds with Capricorn full moon coming because the shoulds are trying to point you into taking responsibility, but they shame you in doing so. So we don't shame anymore. Shoulds are shaming. Instead say, I get to. I get to take this action. I get to make this choice. I get to change this thought. I get to exercise today. I get to drink more water. I get to take care of my body. I get to. Self-care and nurturing your soul is not an obligation. It's a gift. 
It's a gift you give to yourself to grow your potential and then have more to contribute. Okay, I think I already said this too, like where is 29 degrees of Capricorn happening in your chart? If you don't know, go pull up a chart at astro.com or there's a number of places or you can reach out to me at victoriajazzard.com. Uh, request um, a session with me. I think in the fall, I'll start back with the 20 minute consults. Right now I'm too busy with um, trying to have a, a summer time and also catching up with myself. This is something I've been saying for self care and I'll offer this to you. Your, there's nothing wrong with taking time for yourself. You need time to catch up with yourself. You need time for self care. Why again? So you have more to contribute, okay? Can't say that enough. Um, so yes, we can do the hard things. Think of yourself as the CEO of your life. Project managing. You know when you, this is important. I, I've had this experience so many times and I wonder if any of you have had this. When you are working for someone and you have the responsibility of a project they're giving to you, don't you find you take it a little bit more seriously and you put all your effort in and you do your very, very best? But sometimes when it comes to your own life projects, not so much. This full moon is inviting you to stand up for your possibilities, to clock in and do the work necessary, but also know when to clock out, okay? All right, so we're gonna tap in, we're gonna be gifted with the energy of persistence and determination, focusing on the goals, um, and really accomplishment. This is Capricorn. Do you, again, back to Capricorn, do you know anyone? I have a good friend who's a Capricorn. This woman gets more things done. I don't know, she must be on another timeline because she not only works full time, she has a garden, she can, she, she, um, she is preserving food. She's, you know, she's always learning, always growing. Um, and, and these are all good things. So this Capricorn full moon and cancer season is, but still paced with grace. Do the things you need to do. Learn the lessons you were meant to learn. Remember Capricorn is an earth sign grounding in what we've learned. Um, and it's ruled by Saturn, which is the taskmaster. Really must learn what you need to learn. And it's an anoretic degree. So it's like, really like the test is almost here or almost over like did you get it did you learn it did you apply it so very important tell me something in the comments you've learned um from june 21st to this full moon in july 21st what is something you learned that you're now willing to shed release let go and apply the wisdom, put the wisdom in its place. This is still a time of shedding a lot, not just because it's a full moon, um, but it's amplified because it's a full moon and because it's conjunct Pluto. Shedding, releasing, purging, so you can emerge more powerfully, more authentically, have more to share, more to contribute. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, Mars is in a strong trying to Pluto. So th again, these it, it can feel like abrupt, big shifts, but they're, this is like earthquakes that emerge some new higher possibility, some higher potential. Um, so, sun is in strong trying to Neptune. So this is where I feel like, where have you been gaslighting yourself or being gaslit by someone or, you know, some people feel like the news is gaslighting where you haven't searched out other resources, like you're only only going to one source of news and you're kind of um, being gaslit. You're allowing yourself to be gaslit. So we then move it and bring the gift of this um, transit, which is compassion, greater compassion for self and for others. Okay. So we're really just in at this time of, yeah, being more introspective, um, everything's more awake and aware and what how can you facilitate your own healing to contribute more healing to the collective okay i want to see if there's anything else i missed and i'm going to wrap it up okay um mercury square uranus we've had a lot with mars and uranus a lot of these quick sudden unexpected things happening but mercury square uranus is 
unique and innovative ideas coming for you, through you, to help you navigate your life differently and more authentically. Breaking free, liberating yourself from old beliefs and negative thoughts that are contaminating your inner world and then contaminating the external world. Okay, I think that's all I will have to share. Um, do you have any questions? Yep, I think, yeah. So being willing, this is, I invite you to, here's some tips of things to do. Journal or just get um, so a pad of paper out and purge out all your old story, all the stuff that you've been in fear about, all of your judgments, all of your shame, purge it out. Say, out, you cannot live in my being because my soul wants to shine a new way forward, okay? And then burn it or shred it. Um, and then put in your journal, preserve this, uh, you know, what you're reclaiming. As you release, you know, we think of releasing with full moons, but you must put your foot in the door of where you want, the new way you want to walk forward through. Um, and, you know, let your tears come and water the new seeds of potential, which we associate with the new moon. But I, I just feel like um, every day is an invitation to shed the old and empower the new. Every day is a rebirthing cycle. Every day is you want to do it the old way or a new way. What's the new way that wants to emerge through you? Allow yourself to vision for that and allow yourself to put together a plan of care that supports that growing of that potential through you as you, as your contribution. Okay, I think that's all I have. I just hope this touched you. I hope it, something in this really spoke to you. Remember, comment as much as you want because for every comment, I'll put your name into the giveaway for one free complimentary session with me, which is my contribution to you. Thanks for being with me. Let me know where you're viewing from. Subscribe if you haven't. Take a clip of this video um, and share it with somebody you love to encourage and empower them on their unfolding journey. Okay, peace be with all of you. Thanks for being with me and Take good care. Until next time, bye.